is it normal to have a rough week with your toddler? We've been doing so good lately. Yeah, they're going to go up and down, up and down. That's life. Life is messy. People are messy. Parenting's messy. Toddlers are messy. You Just when you think, by the way, just when you think you got a toddler figured out, they're going to switch on you. So yeah, you just got to be calm and consistent and ride out the storms because they're going to go up and down for sure. They're going to try new stuff. Toddlers are forming. They're experimenting. How do I get my two-year-old to stop spitting? That's a bit of a tough one. Uh, but every time they say, oh, I hate that one, actually. It's one of my most annoying ones because it is frustrating because it's very hard to catch them every time they do it. That's why. So every time they spit, I would say no, and I would have a corrective action. You decide what that is for your house. Just decide what that Say no. And a corrective action is not throwing them in a corner or anything like that. You might take a toy away or something. And then you say no, but then you don't keep talking to them. It's that talking afterwards that messes you up. You just say no and then have a corrective action. No words. How to act crazy with a two-year-old. Should I just wait until he's three? Oh my God, two-year-olds are a riot. Every laundry day, which was every single day, I did laundry every day. I'm a fuss part. Anyway, every single time I did laundry, those kids would run and scream because they knew that mom was going to put all the underpants on her head and chase them around the house. I did that from the time they were tiny. So yeah, uh, find your inner silly. Have a, you know how much fun it is to hear your kids screaming like with like just glee, like mom's getting underpants on her head, run! <laughs> I used to call myself the panty monster. So yeah, find your inner silly. And you know when you have that much fun with your kids and it's on their level and you're just laughing and that they just don't act out. Why would they? Why on earth would they want that to stop? Because they knew mom. They knew mom. If they had acted out in any way, those panties would come right off my head. Wouldn't be doing it that day. So you see, that was my that was part of my leverage was because I was fun. And, and when I worked with kids, that was my leverage. It was I was fun or funny with teenagers. So I use humor and fun. And then if they act out, I pull that away a bit. So and they want fun because they're embarrassed. When you're fun and they you like them and they like themselves when they're with you and it's all fun, they don't want to lose that. They want to hang on to that. That's why they want to please you. But you don't want obedient little soldiers. That's different. You want them to make good choices. There's a difference. You don't want them, because someone said, my 16-year-old feels he has to impress me. Uh, it's not what it's about. It has nothing to do with that. I'll go through uh, my top five tips for parenting toddlers. Number one is child-proof your home so you never have to say no. Number two is have a toy rotation system going so your kids are never bored. Number three is connect with your kids in their world. You don't connect with your three-year-old at the nail salon. You go to the park and roll down the hill. They look at you differently when you enter their world. You start to become a leader. And then number four is stop with the mini therapy sessions, discussing all their big feelings when they're naughty. Discipline is not a time to discuss all the big feelings. That's a time to address the bad behavior. You treat you you focus on the good kid. That's when you talk about all the feelings and everything. But while they're acting out, you don't have therapy sessions with them. It's it's ridiculous. So yeah, no therapy sessions. And number five, because they're about consistent corrective actions. They're not about words when you're disciplining. Number five is stop trying to figure them out. Toddlers are not figure outable. They're just forming their brand new fresh human beings. Okay, they're not figure outable. So that's my five top tips for toddlers. Advice for a two year old saying no to everything driving me crazy. Yeah, just ignore the no. Just ignore it. Take action. So uh, I can't think of an example. It's one of those things I got too many ideas in my head. I can't, I get all muddled up. But um, if they're touching something and you say no, you say no. And then if they touch it again, I'm, I'm not saying another no. There's no way I would say that again. I would just instantly take action. I'd move them away from it. 